What is a release in a settlement? In the intricate realm of personal injury law in Colorado, the denouement often arrives in the form of settlements. These legally binding agreements, serving as a truce between the plaintiff and the defendant or their insurance counterparts, bring an end to legal disputes. Integral to this resolution is the release of liability form, a document laden with implications that extend beyond the ink on its pages. Deciphering the release of liability form. When a settlement is reached in a personal injury claim, the plaintiff is confronted with a pivotal document, the release of all claims form, commonly known as a liability waiver. The act of signing this document marks the point at which the defendant is absolved of any future liability for the injuries or damages sustained by the plaintiff. Identification of parties. The release form meticulously details the names and addresses of both parties involved, ensuring clarity in legal identification. Accident narration. An in-depth description of the incident leading to the legal dispute provides a comprehensive context for the settlement. Legal dispute synthesis. The release form encapsulates a summary of the legal contention, acting as a condensed narrative of the entire legal proceedings. Claim enumeration. Enumerating the specifics of the claims, ranging from injuries to medical expenses and lost wages, creates a comprehensive outline. Financial resolution. Crucially, the breakdown of the settlement amount is meticulously laid out, offering transparency in financial resolution. Legal framework. References to relevant laws in the agreement solidify the legal foundation upon which the settlement rests. Once ink meets paper on this legal compact, the plaintiff is bound by its terms, relinquishing the right to pursue further legal actions, even if subsequent developments reveal more severe injuries or additional medical requirements. Prudent steps before the pen hits paper. Given the irreversible nature of a release of liability form, caution becomes imperative before the pen meets paper. Signing prematurely may strip the plaintiff of the ability to seek just compensation, leaving them without legal recourse. Steps to ensure fairness. Damage assessment. Thoroughly evaluating the damages sustained is the first step. Ensuring that the settlement offer aligns with the totality of the damages is crucial. Legal consultation. Seeking the guidance of a Denver personal injury lawyer provides an additional layer of protection. An attorney, working for the plaintiff's interests rather than an insurance company, offers an unbiased evaluation of the settlement's fairness. Negotiation prerogative. If the offered settlement appears inadequate, the plaintiff retains the right to negotiate. Legal representation can aid in this process or escalate the matter to trial if deemed necessary. Once the ink is dry and the release form is signed, the legal journey persists. The aftermath of settlement introduces a unique set of considerations. Post-signing dynamics. While the release form seemingly draws a line under the legal proceedings, it is essential for the plaintiff to remain vigilant about their health. Unforeseen health complications or the necessity for additional medical care post-settlement underscores the importance of comprehensive pre-settlement evaluations. While signed release forms traditionally finalize cases, exceptions exist. If evidence surfaces indicating bad faith in the settlement process, such as fraud by the insurance company, the closed case may see the light of reopening. Legal expertise in the post-settlement period. The post-settlement phase underscores the importance of legal expertise. Attorneys, well-versed in the intricacies of release forms, can ensure that the plaintiff's rights are not inadvertently compromised. In cases where doubt shrouds the authenticity of the settlement, legal experts can delve into the circumstances leading to the agreement. Establishing bad faith claims requires a meticulous examination, potentially unearthing deceptive practices. Safeguarding rights through informed decisions. Both before and after signing a release form, informed decision-making is the linchpin. A profound understanding of potential ramifications and an unwavering vigilance about one's rights ensures that unforeseen developments don't catch the plaintiff off guard. Maintaining an open channel of communication with one's attorney remains crucial post-settlement. If concerns arise, prompt discussions with legal counsel can provide clarity on the best course of action. The prolonged legal odyssey. While the ink on a release form may symbolize the end of one chapter, the legal odyssey endures. The post-settlement phase demands vigilance, legal acumen, and a proactive approach to safeguard rights. As individuals navigate the intricate landscape of personal injury claims in Colorado, the resonance of legal expertise becomes an enduring companion, 
offering guidance and potential avenues for recourse even after the ink has dried. Frequently Asked Questions Q1. Can I challenge a settlement after signing a release form? A1. Challenging a settlement post-signing is a complex endeavor. Generally, signed release forms are binding, but exceptions exist. Consulting with an experienced attorney is crucial in such situations. Q2. Are there time limits for reopening a case after signing a release? A2. Yes, there are time limitations. Reopening a case after signing a release form is typically subject to statutes of limitations and legal constraints. Acting promptly if you suspect bad faith or discrepancies in the settlement is essential. Delays could hinder the chances of reopening the case. Q3. What happens if I discover new injuries after signing the release form? A3. Unfortunately, discovering new injuries post-signing is challenging. The release form is designed to be comprehensive, and signing it often means relinquishing the right to pursue further claims, even if new injuries emerge. Q4. Can I still negotiate the settlement after signing the release form? A4. In most cases, signing the release form signifies the finality of negotiations. Once executed, it becomes legally binding, and renegotiation becomes exceedingly difficult. Q5. Is mediation an option after signing the release form? A5. While mediation can be an option in certain legal scenarios, once a release form is signed, the scope for negotiation or mediation significantly diminishes. Q6. What can I do if I suspect the settlement offer is unfair? A6. If you believe the settlement offer is unjust, seeking legal counsel is paramount. An experienced personal injury attorney can assess the offer's fairness and guide you on the best course of action. Q7. How long does it take to receive settlement funds after signing the release form? A7. The timeline for receiving settlement funds can vary. It often depends on the terms outlined in the release form, processing times, and the efficiency of involved parties.